All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which is us so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We make up the biblical 12 tribes to the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm here with another lesson. There's a saying amongst Jake. Uh, we may have even said it at some point in time, you know, and it's uh, a familiar saying. And that saying is, I fear no man on this earth. I only fear God or something to that effect. You know, I fear no man. Uh, the only one I fear is God. Okay. And uh, that is. It's true. That's the mindset we're supposed to have, a, of course, in a spiritual sense, because a lot of, you know, Jake's that proclaim they uh, fear the most high. They say, oh, I don't fear no man. I only fear God. They they don't they don't uh, do shit that the most high tell them to do. You know, for one, they uh, the majority of our people, they reject the most high with the most high say for us to do okay because when we go out and teach this word you know put up these videos the majority of our people are are uh rejecting the word okay they're not getting in order okay true fear the way you show that you fear uh the most high is by being obedient okay obedience i'm sorry fear produces obedience when you fear and when you in fear of somebody, you're going to do what they tell you to do. OK, and I got a quick scripture to uh, back that up before I get into another set of uh, scriptures. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58. It says, if thou will not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book. That thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God and the Lord thy God his name that fearful name is Yahweh okay and we also to fear his son Yahweh Shai so in other words this verse is saying you know uh if you don't do what I'm telling you to do or if you don't keep all the commandments that I, I'm telling you to keep because by keeping them it shows that you fear the glorious and fearful name, Yahweh. It shows that we fear, by keeping the laws, we fear the Most High. By not keeping them, it shows that we don't fear the Most High. Because it goes on to say, then, you know, the Most High is going to uh, bring all these plagues uh, wonderful or make thy plagues wonderful. We read the next verse, but I'm not going to go into the, uh, the next verse. All right? So fear produces obedience. All right. So as long as we fear the most high. By and how do we show that we fear by doing what the scriptures tell us to do, you know, teach this word, uh, uh, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. Then we're going to be OK. OK. And we got to have uh, faith in that. And um, it all boils down to who's the elect. The elect is going to endure to the end. Okay, we're going to find out who those men are. We hope to be those men. So next scripture is uh, Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, and it's going to be verse 25 and 26. And it says, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, meaning we're supposed to, we, we're, uh, when we're in scary situations, okay, we're uh, supposed to have faith in the Most High, and the Most High is going to come through and be our, uh, be our backing. He's going to back us up. He's going to hold us down. He's going to get us through these particular situations that we're going to face. 
um, in these up and coming days, you know, the, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. The hour of temptation. All right. Let me, uh, read verse 26 again. It says for the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. But, um, what must happen? We must fear the most high in order for him to be our uh, confidence and keep keep us um, from being taken. Right. So next scripture, this is. Uh, and there's many scriptures on showing that or that say, you know, if we fear the most high then he's going to take care of us. The next scripture is Psalms. Thirty four. And. And. Uh, Verse 9, Psalm 34, 4 and 9, it says, O fear the Lord, Yahweh, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. I'm going to read it again. O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. All right, because the scriptures talk about a famine. Okay. Um. That's going to come down the pike. And we see that approaching. You know, this famine can take place very soon. All right. And the scriptures say that as long as we fear the most high, we there is no want to them that fear the most high. You see. And uh, not only in the situation of a, a famine, but for anything, you know, in a time of uh, need and we need help. We're not going to, we're not going to, uh, if we are of the elect, the ones that are of the elect, you know, and we hope to be of that number, you know, um, we're not going to have to want for shit. Okay. Um, next scripture, Psalms 56. And like I said, there's many scriptures on this. I just pulled a few of them. Now this video is, is more of a uh, video to bring out scriptures to comfort to comfort us, you know, and encourage us to keep the faith that the Most High got us, you know. If we do what the hell he tell us to do, then the Most High is going to come through, okay? And we've all witnessed at different times in our lives where we knew that there was no way we made it up out of a particular situation except the Most High came uh, delivered us out of it. You know, this is Psalms 56 and uh, verse four, it says in the most high, I will praise his word in the most high have. I'm sorry, let me read that again in the most high. I will praise his word in the most high and say God, but I'm saying the most high I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Even the flesh of the so the big bad so called white man, okay, because as we know, uh, the Most High controls the flesh on this earth. All right, nobody's nobody has free will to make decisions their own decisions. Man, the Most High is in control of what go through the mind of this bastard, because this man is gonna come at us and try to scare us, and we gonna be in you know situations. We gonna be. Some of us are going to be locked up in camps, concentration camps. Some of us is going to get our heads chopped off. Okay. And other situations that we're going to be in, you know, and the most high is in control of that situation. All right. He's in control of what can happen. What's not going to happen. Okay. And the most high is telling us straight up and down. If we fear him. Uh, um, if we fear him, he's going to have our back. Okay. Next scripture. And I'll end it out on these set of set of scriptures. This is, uh, the book of Sirach or, or Ecclesiasticus, the 34th chapter. I'm going to start at the 13th verse. It says the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. And I'm going to say this. You know, majority of the elect is going to live, man. Even the ones that get put to death, 
okay, are going to be okay. The scriptures say the most high will not give us more than we can uh, or put on us more than what we can handle. I'm roughly paraphrasing. I can't think of where that particular scripture is at. So whatever situation we're in, it ain't going to be a, a situation where it's too much on us. The most high is going to give us the spirit to make it. All right. And we got to fear the most high, fear the most high. We don't, our fear is supposed to be, if we don't do what the fuck we supposed to do, then the most high is going to allow this man to destroy us. That's why our fear should lie. Not of what this man can do, because he can't do shit without the, the go ahead of the most high. Let me read that again. This is uh, Psalms 56 and 4. It says, in the most high, I will praise his word. In the Most High, I have uh, put my trust. I'm sorry, I just read that. I'm in uh, Ecclesiastes 34, and uh, I was on the 13th verse. It says, "The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in Him that saveth them." And that's right. We hoping our hope, our faith is that the Most High is gonna save us from these uh, uh, turbulent times. Okay, from these. Uh, Times that's going to be fearful times. All right. Let's read on verse 14. It says, whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid. See, whoso feared the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid. For he is his hope. Blessed is the soul of him that feared the Lord. To whom doth he look? We look to the most high. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. For all things. And who is his strength? For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. And he is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from the stumbling and in help from falling. He raiseth up the soul and he lighteneth the eyes. He giveth help. Okay, it may be particular situations where we get super sick, you know, and the Most High is gonna come through and 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 cure you, cure us of certain ailments that we may encounter. Okay, it says, uh, "He giveth health, life, and blessing." So, ultimately. You know, if we be of the elect, we don't have nothing to worry about. If we got, the, if, if, you know, you have the faith right now, you be, you be still believe in this word as of now, you know, then we just pray to the most high that we keep, that he keep us in the faith. Okay. You don't take the spirit from us, you know, keep doing what the most high tell us to do. And just think about it. You know, if you, we fear the most high. We still, you know, damn, oh, the, the Paul said it. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that scripture and I'll uh, end this lesson on that. I may have a, one more scripture outside of that to, uh, to bring out. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, Paul made that statement. Just let me see if I can find it. Okay, I found it. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. You know, all the terror that this devil is going to bring Esau. Because the scriptures say he's going to come in like a flood. He shall be as a madman, sparing none. Okay. That's the most high. The scriptures tell us in the book of Psalms, the 17th chapter that. Let me get that real quick. Psalms, the 17th chapter that. The wicked is the sword, the sword of the most high. Okay. All right, Psalm 17 and uh, 13, it says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Okay. Which is thy sword? So let me go back to 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. It says, Knowing therefore... The terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You see? The, the, we telling everybody, look, the Most High is bringing 
these plagues in the last days. And he's going to use the so-called white man to bring a lot of them. Okay? The Most High is using the so-called white man to plague this earth in the last days. Esau. The Edomites. Check that out. You know, that's one of the sources, the most, one of the main sources the Most High is using to bring about the plagues. You know? It says, knowing that for the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. See, so the terror comes from the Most High. And knowing that the Most High is terrible, that he's in control of terror, then that means we got to do what the hell the Most High tell us to do. You know, that make, should make us be obedient. That shit, if I don't do what the Most High tell me to do, then he going to terrorize my ass. And he could do it through the so-called white man. Check that out. So, you know, this was a, um, like I, I believe I mentioned, this more of a lesson. Of course, I wanted to do this lesson to uh, edify, but also uh, to comfort, bring out scriptures, comforting uh, scriptures. So uh, let me find it in Maccabees. I think it's first Maccabees. 12. Yeah, first Maccabees 12 and 9. Therefore, we also, albeit we need none of these things. For that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. And it's going to come a point in time we're not going to be able to grab the scriptures. And open up the scriptures and read certain accounts and read precepts to give us that boost. To give us that encouragement to comfort us. We have to have this word in our mind. Okay, that's why the scriptures say in Ezekiel the third chapter to eat the roll. Eat it up in our mind. Spiritually take it in. Okay, so that we can... Uh, uh, play out these scriptures in our mind when we're in these uh, particular fearful situations, you know? And just know that the Most High is going to come through. He got to come through. Or else he he would, uh, that'll make the Most High lie. So Lord willing, this video was uh, edifying and comforting. You know, the scriptures, you know, of course, that got brought out and also exhorting unto our spirits. You know, once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.